Hey guys, so for today's video, I created this look with the new Natasha Denona Retro Palette. This is my second look that I'm doing with this palette. If you wanna see my first look, I'm gonna link that video down below for you. Pretty much everyone in the comments of that first video wanted to see more looks with this palette, so here we are. So if you wanna see how I got this look, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, let's get started. I think today I'm gonna to do something more with the peachy shades kinda of on this side of the palette. I'm gonna take GoGo -Go on a Sigma E27, and this shade's gonna go in my crease. Now I'm gonna take Vivian on the same brush and I'm gonna use this shade to help blend out that kind of corally peachy shade. All right, and it looks like this shade's kind of more of a satin. When I swatched it, it looked more matte, but I think this is doable. Now I'm gonna pick up Amara on the same brush and I'm gonna use this shade to deepen up the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm also gonna take more Gogo -Go on this brush and use that to help blend out Amara. Now I'm gonna take Patty on my finger and that's gonna go on the inner part of my lid. And then I'm gonna go back to the brush I was using and just softly blend around that shimmer. I'm loving how these tones look. They look kind of more peachy in the pan, but on the eye, they're definitely more like mauve. I don't know how to explain it, but they're really pretty. Now I'm gonna switch to a Sigma E31 and more of the shade Go Go. And that's gonna go on my entire lower lash line. I kinda wanna switch things up and do like a purple smudgy eyeliner with like the berry tones in here. All right, here's my plan. I'm gonna take the Makeup Geek eyeliner, I think the shade is Plumeria, and I'm gonna line that all along my eye, top lash line, and my waterline slash lower lash line. And then I'll take Rebellion on a little angle brush, and I'm gonna kinda smudge that on top of the eyeliner. Let's see how this looks, here we go. Going in with the eyeshadow Rebellion. I think I'm just gonna do like a little tiny flick with the eyeshadow. Not really doing a whole wing, but just a little something like that. All right, now at this point, some people might be like, Angela, you look sickly. Why did you put a pink purple eyeliner all around your eye? And you don't have to do this purpley eyeliner if you don't want to. You totally could have stopped the look at just the eyeshadow on the lid and lower lash line called that good, but I just wanna add a little more color. But to make myself look a little less sickly, I'm now gonna take a black eyeliner. I'm gonna take the House Labs Coal Gel Eyeliner. This is like my favorite one ever. And I'm gonna line my tight lines so underneath my top lashes and my waterline with this black. And that just kind of adds a little bit of separation between the pinky purple and your eye, so it looks a little less sickly. I think this looks much better. Now I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and lashes. All right, lashes are done, and for my lashes, I'm wearing my Bright Lashes in the style All Natural. I love how this look turned out. I'm glad that I added that little touch of black all around the eye. I think it really helps pull everything together. And the tones of this look is just so beautiful and perfect for fall, but I feel like it's not too over the top. Like, yes, I'm wearing colored eyeshadow, but it's not like, whoa, colored eyeshadow, you know what I mean? Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.